and welcome to my first ever reading vlog. Um, I decided to read the hugely hyped and popular Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I decided that it would be fun to try out how a reading vlog would come together. So this might never see the light of day or this might be in your screen right now. As I said, we're reading Six of Crows. Um, it was a tough choice between this one and A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass Moss. But we made the decision uh, with a Instagram poll. So if you would like to take part in these decisions and would like to see me read something you're interested in, then um, go follow me on Instagram and you can participate. I've already started uh, yesterday and I'm currently on page 44. So far I am, um, I am okay with it. I have no complaints so far. I am using this bookmark it's very pretty it, it came with my sticky subscription it's designed by um little paper witch i'll put it on the screen but it's pretty and i like it and i thought the brown in the little ribbon um goes well ish i think i might check in there are these sections that i can see looking at the book like this you can kind of see the sections they are separated by this dark page i'm trying not to spoil anything to myself they look like this so i think i'll check in um whenever i reach a new a new section of the book so like i said there has been a lot of hype around this book um and I'm hoping that it will live up to it, because I have read a lot of three stars recently and I'd love to read something a little more interesting or a little more... I'm looking for something more than three stars, if you know what I mean. So this is what we will be reading. I will take you through the journey of me reading it over the next couple of weeks and maybe update you. Uh, this video will not contain any spoilers about the book. This will simply be me reading the book and not telling you any spoilers. So if you're interested about that, you can continue watching this video. It's currently um, Saturday the 12th of February so we are hoping that we will be finished by the end of the month yes let's let's get reading Alright, welcome to the first check-in of this video. Um, I initially thought that I would check in whenever, like there are these sections or parts that separate the story. I noticed that they come quite often. So I decided to read until the halfway mark. I'm about 250 pages in um, and there's 500 pages in total so we're about halfway through. Um, <laughs> please excuse my outfit. I'm already in my pajamas. I'm ready for bed. I usually read before bed. So that's when I think about books and do all the book stuff and that's why we're talking about this in my nightwear so as i said in the beginning of this video i've heard a ton of good things about this book and i'm still deciding if i am agreeing with the hype 
I do like it a lot so far. I like the characters. I like that the points of view kind of change in each chapter. If you don't know, there's a group like the main group of main characters is a group of like teenagers, I want to say, that live in like the bad part of the town and they do like criminal stuff. Um now I won't be spoiling anything, but there is like this is in the back cover. So this is not a spoiler, this is like a known fact of this book that there is a heist that this group is trying to pull off. I'm anticipating the heist to be the peak or the climax of the book so it hasn't happened yet but there has been some like they are preparing and there has been some issues and then there is like issues between the characters and stuff like that so i definitely am very like sucked in to the story i read it in like as you have seen i like to read in public transport and also like before bed so i definitely like find it easy to read and i feel continuously curious about what's going to happen next judging uh, by the half that I have read, I think it's going to be very very interesting um, The way that it's set up in a way that the characters kind of don't trust each other Like they're all like criminals and they have like dark pasts and stuff like that um, I think there's definitely the the ingredients for chaos are visible already in the book if you're watching this video trying to find out if you should read this book if you are among us peasants who have not read this book yet <laughs> uh, so far i would say if you're looking for something like kind of exciting and something that's quite easy to like consume the text isn't very complex uh, i would recommend this so if you are familiar with Leigh Bardugo's work, you know that this is kind of set in the same world um, with the same society um, as Shadow and Bone, which was... I don't know if it was Bardugo's first ever novel, but I think it was like early on and it was the first book in the like Grisha verse um universe if that makes sense the books are not connected like the characters are not the same i don't think um but it's set in the same world and the like the supernatural creatures that are in this book and that book they are they are like the same i don't know if i'm making any sense but you know um, so I did read Shadow and Bone last year and I did not, um, I was not a super fan. I'm not sure what my issue was. I think the writing, um, in, in my opinion, the writing in Six of Crows and then Ninth House, which is another of Leigh Bardugo's, um, books, I think the writing here and in Ninth ninth house was better than in shadow and bone and th the writing as an english major uh, i hate myself but like if i don't love the writing like if i don't like the writing i uh it like takes something away from the story for me personally and i thought like in some ways the uh, Shadow and Bone, I think, was maybe directed for someone, a reader who's a bit younger than me, which in a lot of uh, young adult fantasy and fantasy in general, um, the characters are often younger or often are not the same age as you, but sometimes um, I think in some books you just are not feeling very connected. 
and that's what happened with me and Shadow and Bone and uh, the Shadow and Bone series is a trilogy and I only read the first part and after consulting some other people who have read um, the trilogy and the Six of Crows duology they told me that it is not necessary for me to read the trilogy if I didn't love it that this is a work of its own so I decided to skip the parts two and three from the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I am planning on listening to those as audiobooks when they come, when they become available in my audiobook service. But as of right now, they are not there and I am not interested in getting those books. I would say, if we were, if we were to do a ranking, I would rank this the highest and then Ninth House and then Shadow and Bone of Bardugo books that I have read. So, I am liking it. The, for now, I like it. We'll see what happens next. I will get back to you with an update when I have either made some progress or, or when I've finished the book. So, yeah. Alright, hello, welcome back to my review, or I guess you never left, but it, it has been two weeks since we last saw each other. We have officially finished Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, which was the entire point of this video. Um, so I can't really remember what I said last time, so I'm just gonna do my review based on purely what I feel at the moment so if I contradict my earlier self it is just that I am older and wiser now um I finished it is currently um, Saturday 5th of March and I finished the book last weekend so about a week ago but I, I haven't had the time to talk to you about it before now and I feel like I feel like I've had time to like go over it in my head. So this book was recommended to me by tons and tons of people. When I go to the Goodreads page of this book, I can't hold it here so you remember what I'm talking about. You know how every book has its own page on Goodreads? When I go to this book's page, I see my friend's reviews of it and every single one is five stars, right? Everyone loves this. Everyone cannot stop raving about this book. And so I thought it must be the perfect book. It must be the best book that I will read this year. No, I'm kidding. But long story short, it was not quite the best book that I have ever read. I said it. I said what I said. Do not get me wrong, please, because I really enjoyed I feel like I'm constantly frowning. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to be so serious. Do not get me wrong, I did not not like it. Like, I enjoyed it. I would say I kind of, like, devoured it. I thought the plot and the characters and everything about it was very, like, gripping. However, comma, once again, I've, I've filmed book reviews before. They have just never seen the light of day. But I have this tendency to f be missing something with every book I ever read in my entire life. I'm, I'm still wishing for something, there's something missing and I don't know what it is. Will I ever find the book that ticks all the boxes for me? I don't know. 
we will have to find out together. I did give it a good four stars, which is the amount I would give to a really good book that is not perfect. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there is, this is, again, it's on the back cover. There is a heist and once you get to the part where the heist happens, it is very, it's a page turner. Um, <clears throat> I, I definitely want to read the second, this is a duology. So the next part, which is Crooked Kingdom, I will be ordering that and putting it on my tbr because i would love to know what happens next the, it had the perfect amount of action in my opinion and i tend to like stuff like that like book books that make you like turn the pages and you want to find out what happens next that i like that and this this book delivered that and I like the characters, although it's funny. <laughs> there is a character called Mina, and then a char character called Matthias. But um, I'm watching a Paradise Hotel <laughs> Sweden at the moment, and there are characters, or like, <laughs> not characters, but people called Mina and Matthias on that show. So in my mind, I was picturing two super hot people <laughs> wearing, wearing like swimwear because that's pretty much, they like live in the show, they live on a resort and they like, it's a reality. Um, <clears throat> it's a reality show where they spend most of the time in like bikinis and swimming trunks. So <laughs> I think that maybe was not what Lee Bardugo was going for with these two characters, but <laughs> that was what was going on in my head. But I, I did not mind. They are both very good looking people and it made it more, I was more invested. I was like, oh, it's so interesting. This person who I've watched on TV, but you know, that's, <laughs> that's what happens when you consume um, very, very different um, medias at the same time. <laughs> all in all, four stars out of five. Um, it was very good. Sometimes I feel like people have very different ideas of what's worth five stars and what, what, and what is worth four stars. Um, at my current moment in my life, I am kind of reserving the five stars for the books that I feel were exceptional, that I feel were like really, really good. I would definitely recommend this to you if you haven't read it yet. If you're one of the like five people on earth that have not read it yet, I would recommend it. Um, however, comma, if you are under like the age of like 12 or like 10 I hope none of you are um, because I'm not sure I'm suitable for children um, but maybe like maybe this is I don't think this is a children's book some parts I felt were kind of graphic so if you are very 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 young if you've just learned how to read and for some reason are on this channel um, maybe don't read this yet unless you've already read some other like graphic stuff but there's like violence and crime in this book so not for children but I do not think it's like too much for a person who's like my age so I did not think that I was too old for it or like did not I I felt like it was an entertaining read and it was okay it was good I enjoyed it I will read the second part um, and if you want I can take you with me this has been my review of six of crows my spoiler free review it I liked the characters the budding romance perhaps question mark the action the plotting 
the kind of how the things that the events are like build up i really like that i think it's a very very nice work of literature yes here we are we finished it we liked it we gave it four stars if you um like this vlog you can let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me read the second part if you would like to see me read something else um anything like that or just tell me your thoughts what did you think about six of crows did you think it was the perfect work of literature like many 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 of my friends do or did you think it was good very good entertaining not the best book ever um write whatever you want in the comments i will be reading and responding and and smiling um yeah that was all from me today um yeah thanks for watching thank you love you bye